We just got our results back in. It is COVID. For the most part, we are fine. We are fine. We can eat. We can drink. I'm able to. I didn't test that yet. Huh? I didn't test that yet. You didn't test it yet. You got up. You ate breakfast this morning. You've been playing around. Yeah, but now we can the Huh? Well, we just got tested yesterday. And it takes 12 to 48 hours for it to come back. And it's back. It takes 12 to 48 hours. We were at the doctor's office. Uh, we were there Wednesday morning. But anywho, the first day or two for me, was bad like i had fever out the world like my body was aching and my legs they were throbbing they were so sore it's like i'm gonna get to you in a minute i had the same thing but every time i stand up i throw up yeah he was like that it started with him first he woke up monday morning sick i'm thinking that he had a virus or whatever so by what tuesday night yeah tuesday night early wednesday morning i got real like i got sick out of nowhere and you no know, my head my head was already hurting and then it just started pounding and i'm like what is this then next thing you know my legs were aching and i was getting hot and cold just random and i would sleep 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 so I got us up Wednesday, like mid morning, close to the afternoon, and we went to the doctor, and they took our vitals and went and everything. And my temp was a hundred point three, and yeah. So they swapped us for. The flu and COVID. We was negative for the flu before we left because they did the rapid. And the COVID took 12 to 48 hours to come back. And I just checked my chart. And I knew it was something when the little red mark is like right there beside. Every time you do results, like if it's negative, it's not going to say anything. But if something is positive in whatever culture or whatever that they're swapping you for, it's going to have like a little red little circle, like a little exclamation point thingy. And it was there for me and my son. Can you cut it? It was there for the both of us. Cut that back on. It was there for both of us, so I knew it. When I told him, he cried. He cried. My baby. Baby girl is messing with the light. And I'm trying to do a video. Yeah. So it, it's kind of hard being in quarantine. Hey guys, it is the next day. It's the afternoon. Yeah. My kids are asleep. Well, my oldest and my middle are still asleep. Baby boy is sitting here drinking his bottle. And I went out, and I got us. No, I was telling y'all about my cousin who does the Edelberry Sea Moss and Super Tea and all that. So he brought some stuff to my auntie house, which is closer to me than his mom, which is my auntie. And I went to her house, and not his mom's, my other auntie, but I went to her house and got some stuff and I just mixed some sea moss in with my baby's milk. He's on um, regular milk now. But the sea, sea moss is good. I thought sea moss was going to be uh, but um, 
The sea moss was great. It tastes like applesauce to me. I haven't tried the elderberry yet. And we got super tea. And I think it has the chlorophyll in it. So, like, he's been, yeah, big cousin been fussing at me because every time I say that I'm sick, he be like, now you already know. Like, I do deliveries for him, and I never got sick doing deliveries for him. But whenever I mentioned that I'm sick, he was like, all them deliveries you be doing, and you don't never get you anything. You don't never get nothing. You don't take nothing. You don't just, you don't that. Like, I've been getting fussed at all this time. And so now, I finally went and got some stuff in. Let's say, me and my kids are going to be on the road to recovery, like... Should I still wear my mask even though we're all sick and I'm in the house? Like, we got, what, 14 days? Well, not four, not, we got less than 14 days. We probably got like what? Hold on. Okay, I'm back. My best friend was outside. She gone to the grocery store oh. run for me. And I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, I was talking about um my cousin with the the herbal business. But yeah, that sea moss is supposed to help boost up your immune system. And it tastes just like applesauce. How he got it blended. It is so good. But um, it's me and my fat man. Mm -hmm. Me and my fat man, he don't even look like him shit. But it's just me and him up. We about to get us something to eat. And we're going to see what the day going to bring. Even though it's kind of like almost <coughs> almost mid-afternoon. We're going to see what we going to do today. Um, they did a video yesterday for Nene Channel. And I don't know. I'm just going to fall through our, our whole quarantine journey. And whenever they're feeling good, they can do a video. But I'll get back with y'all later. Hi, guys. Welcome back to another video. I bet y'all like COVID well. Oh, the, the body still hurt a little. Like, you feel good one minute, and then the next minute, symptoms hit. Like, I believe that's why they have you the. My sister uh, To be in quarantine, though, the, all those days. Like, is it still 14? We've been up for a while. We're doing a little cleaning and. Kids is getting the elderberry in super tea. Sea moss in the refrigerator. Sea moss tastes just like applesauce. And it's good because baby girl, I know nasty. She gonna get all in the camera. But she been all in it, honey. She been bringing me her stuff so she can get it for the day. So she done got hers in for the day. Now it's time for me to get the oldest and the youngest in. I done had my sea moss. Now it's time for me to do my elderberry and my super tea. So we can get the feeling hey, okay. We on we on the way back. But y'all tuned in for a bang of the day. So today I'm going to be doing... Frozen food challenge. Like, I'm going to be eating frozen food all day. Like, not like actual the frozen, frozen food. Like, no, I'm going to take them out of the freezer and heat it up. Like, I'm not going to be eating the actual frozen, frozen food. No, 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 no. That's too cold for me. I'm already sick. <laughs> <coughs> but, anywho... Quarantine life is all right, but when you got a quarantine with all your kids, who, man, when I tell you, for the most part, we be feeling good, 
my oldest, oh my God, he can cook. Oh, he fried us some chicken last night. I'm going to insert that chicken in there because I took a picture of it. And let y'all know that that chicken was off the chain. I should have got a video of baby girl, but my phone was dead last night. And I ain't feel like charging it. But, yeah, she cleaned them bones. Yeah, she cleaned them bones. But let's get right into the video. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> Kids are down for a nap. And that's about it. We're just hanging around and cleaning. Uh, like I said, my son's been cooking when he's feeling good. So, I was trying to do Nay's hair and look girls up. You know, she, she got the tender headedness for me, but it's awful. It's really awful. Like, look, girl, you was a girl. You got to get your hair done. I don't know why I'm whispering, but quarantine life is not so bad. You can get a lot of things done around the house for as organizing and cleaning and redecorating and putting together recipes and stuff like that. <coughs> like I, I organized my kitchen cabinets already and I started on my refrigerator and I redid my my bedroom. My son is in the process of doing his bedroom. And I want to turn my living room around because I brought my YouTube set up in my living room. And this, um, if y'all been watching any of my videos, it's right by my living room window. I want to flip it so it's not by the window anymore which i mean the window does give it like a cool little background because we're supposed to get snow pretty soon this video might drop right when we get the snow because it's coming i think they said today it's a hundred percent chance tomorrow and it's supposed to be gone, I want to say, by Monday morning or afternoon, something like that. But I do know it's supposed to be, like, 28 degrees tomorrow. I'm kind of glad we are in quarantine because, uh-uh, uh-uh, no. I do not want to get my kids out because if we didn't have COVID, coronavirus, I don't know however y'all call it. Then I would be getting up out my bed at 5 o'clock in the morning while it's 28 degrees and taking my kids to the city or whatever. And I would be at work cold, freezing. And -uh. so I'm kind of glad to be at home, but not with coronavirus but I'm just I had to be here yeah. give me y'all updates well my son did tell me yesterday that he would like to be vaccinated so um I think I might let him get vaccinated anybody have pros and cons with being vaccinated <laughs> Let me know because he's a child and he wants to be outside playing with his friends and one of his closest friends is vaccinated and he wants to be vaccinated. I have nothing against it. Um, I really don't know too much other than what some people that's vaccinated tell me, but I'm not going to get into that because I'm... 
don't know too much about it. I don't want to put out the wrong information on it, so we're not going to talk about it, okay? But, um, this little vlog is not anything. It's more like a update of what's going on with me, so it's just mainly me talking and letting y'all know what's going on with me, but... We are doing other videos behind these vlogs, so I will be uploading one to Nay's World pretty soon, and I'm in the process of doing one for my channel, and that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in to my update. Hopefully... By next week, I will be in a better state, like, really, really full of energy, and we can do more things, but thanks for y'all, thank, thank y'all for tuning in all the way through, however far you got into the video, I just thank y'all for coming back. For the ones that's been coming back, for the ones that's new, I thank y'all for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, wash your hands, wear your mask, stay sanitized, gloved up, whatever the case may be. Because COVID is real and it's still out there. Peace.